Good morning. Thank you for joining us on Tuesday of the 12th week of Ordinary Time. Our Mass intention is for Robert Epifano. The Lord is the strength of his people, a saving refuge for the one he has anointed. Save your people, Lord, and bless your heritage and govern them forever. Let us begin our prayer. Oops, let me take this down. We begin our prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we do each time we come together, we pause for a few moments. We gather our thoughts together and we place ourselves in God's special presence this morning. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to solve, call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. And let us pray. Grant, O oh Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive us of your guidance. We, whom you have set firm in a foundation of your love, and we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Can I be seated? You can be seated. A reading from the second book of Kings. Jehoashin was 18 years old when he began the, to reign, and he reigned three months in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Nehishta, daughter of Elnathan of Jerusalem. He did evil in the sight of the Lord, just as his forebearers had done. At that time, the officials of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, attacked Jerusalem, and the city came under siege. Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon himself, arrived at the city with his servants while his servants were besieging it. Then Jehoashin, king of Judah, together with his mother, his ministers, officers, and functionaries, surrendered to the god of Babylon, who in the eight, eighth year of his reign took him captive. And he carried off all the treasures of the temple of the Lord and those of the palace, and broke up all the gold utensils that Solomon, king of Israel, had provided in the temple of the Lord. As the Lord had foretold, he deported all Jerusalem, all the officers and men of the army, 10,000 in number, and all the craftsmen and smiths. None were left among the people of the land except the poor. He deported Jehoshaphat, Jehoashin of Babylon, and also led captive from Jerusalem to Babylon the king's mothers and wives and functionaries and the chief men of the land. The king of Babylon also had captive, also led captive to Babylon all 7,000 men of the army and a thousand craftsmen and smiths, all of them trained soldiers. In place of Jehoashin, the king of Babylon appointed his uncle, Mathasna, king, and changed his name to Zedekiah. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial is, for the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. O God, the nations have come into your inheritance. They have defiled your holy temple. They have, led, they have laid Jerusalem to ruins. They have given the corpses of your servants as food to the birds of heaven, the flesh of your faithful ones to the beast of the earth. 
For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. They have poured out their blood like water round about Jerusalem, and there is no one to bury them. We have become the reproach of our neighbors, the scorn and derision of those around us. O Lord, how long will you be angry forever? Will your jealousy burn like fire? For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Remember not against us the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Help us, O Lord, our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Whoever loves, whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will, and will come to him. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? Did we not drive out demons in your name? Did we not do mighty deeds in your name? Then I will decline to them so solemnly. I never knew you. Depart from me, you evildoers. Everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them would be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house. But it did not collapse. It had been set solidly on rock. And everyone who listens to these words of mine, but does not act on them, will be like a fool who built his house on sand. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house. And it collapsed and was completely ruined. When Jesus finished these words, the crowds were astonished at his teachings, for he taught them as one having authority and not as their scribes. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus Christ. Do you want me to preach? Sure. Okay. A house built on a rock a house built on sand, one that, can, one that can withstand the trials and tribulations of life, and one that can collapse. It's a clear contrast that leads us to conclude that having your house built on solid rock is much better. The house represents our lives, and the, questions, the question it raises is simply, how strong am I? How strong am I to face the storms, hardships, and crosses that will inevitably come my way? When life is easy and all goes smoothly, we do not necessarily need great inner strength. When money is plentiful and we have many friends and we have our health and our family all along, life can be good. One might e even consider it to be easy, but there are a few things we can go, that we can go through without facing, but there are a few of, there are, but there are a few who can go through life without facing some type of storm. When that happens, our inner strength is tested and the strength of our inner convictions are required to get us through. In the gospel, the rain, floods, and wind that buffeted the house are actually a good thing. 
because they allow the foundation of the house to, be, to manifest its stability. So it is with us. The foundation of our lives must be our fidelity to the word of God. Do you believe the word of God? Have you pondered it, studied it, internalized it, and allowed God's word to become the foundation of your life? Jesus makes it clear that we will have a solid foundation only when we listen to his words and act on them. Reflect today upon how deeply you believe that Jesus, what Jesus said. Do you trust in every word he has spoken? Do you believe him even though, even to reply upon his promise, even during life's greatest challenges? If you are not sure, then this is a good day to recommit yourself to the prayerful reading of his word. All he says in scriptures is true, and those truths are what we need to create a firm foundation for our lives, for the rest, a firm foundation for the rest of our lives. Do a prayer of the faithful? No. Pardon? No. Oh, yes. I'll do one. No, we do. Okay. Um, we have some special prayers that we would like to offer today. Uh, the different prayers that we bring in our hearts that we share with the Lord, and he brings them to God our Father. Please. For the church, the body of Christ, may the Lord's call to deeper conversion bear fruit in all our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For government officials, may the Lord guide their decision-making in accordance with the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who have been displaced from their homes due to war, violence, or food scarcity. May the Lord give them hope and a safe haven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all members of our faith community, may the Lord help us continue to grow in charity and hospitality. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those who have died, May the Father welcome them into his heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. For our nation, may we find peace, healing, and reconciliation during this time of unrest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For Robert Epif Epifano, for whom this Mass is especially being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. For the prayers and petitions in our Parish Book of Intentions, and for those we hold in the quiet of our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Almighty God, there are many, many more prayers we, we have in our hearts, and we know that you'll hear them all, for we ask them in the name of Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church.
and we pray. O oh Lord, receive the sacrifice of praise and grant that we, cleansed by its action, may make suffering of a heart pleasing to you. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times and everywhere, to acclaim to you, O Lord, but now in this time, above all, to Lord, you ever more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, integrity of life is restored to us in Christ Jesus. And therefore overcome with Easter joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and together with unending hymn of your glory, we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory, glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the highest. highest. Blessed is he, he who comes, comes in the name, name of the of Lord, Lord, Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the, the highest. highest. You are holy indeed, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy these gifts by sending down your spirit upon them so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. We bow together. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink of it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed, will poured out for you and for the many for the forgiveness of sins. And do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim Proclaim your your death, O Lord, Lord, and profess your resurrection resurrection until until you come come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate this memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer to you, Lord God, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have helped us become worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, Arthur, our pastor, and all those who serve you. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, our patron here at Our Lady of the Wayside, with St. Joseph, the Blessed Apostles, with all the saints who have been gathered throughout the ages, that we may merit to become co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus the Christ. Through him 
and with him and in him. To you, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We finish our Eucharistic prayer and go to the great prayer that Jesus himself has given us as we say together, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace with you. Peace, peace with you. Peace with you. And we say together the Lamb of God prayer. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins sin of, of the world, world, have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Prayer of Spiritual Communion as prayed by Pope Francis. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. The eyes of all look to you, Lord, and you give them their food in due season. And let us pray. Oh Lord, we have been renewed and nourished, and we ask for your mercy that we may celebrate with constant devotion and we may may be made sure pledge of our redemption. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God.